discretion is advised. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash bgunlocked. The link is in the description below, and now enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked. And Josh and I are going to be playing Kingdom Death Monster, starting a whole new series. No, okay. um, I would cry. Yeah, it's like we're going to just start all over. Just the two of us. Yeah, I mean, it'd probably be more streamlined, honestly, going that way. Um, no, we are actually going to be fighting the White Gigaline in the Vignette of Death. This is just a little mini-series that we were just going to do just to be able to include the cat, the Gigaline, in our in our actual series. So... That way it didn't just, like, come out of the... Where the fuck did exactly. this come from? I mean, technically, Devin and I, we did play it, and we were just going to include... Because we did it for his campaign, so we're just going to throw it into ours. But I'm like, no, I mean, it's another fight. It's an, e it's an extra thing. I mean, why not? Why not do... I kind of overbloated the main campaign. Like, I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I put every single expansion in there and that is that's a lot that is just way too much and uh, i've since rectified that i have pulled i think four out so pretty, pretty much everyone we haven't fought um and that that's made it easier like and i mean you you really you really would want to see everything in like any other game but it's like here it's like well, I want to go through another campaign, and now I'll throw in this person and this person. That'll alter the weapons we can get, and like that's kind of what the game's about. You don't want to fight everything and just not have enough time to fight everything well. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. What's real nice is it's pre-constructed. Yeah. Characters. So we have no attachment to these guys. No attachment to them. It doesn't hurt us if we die. <laughs> right. It's just like oh, okay. So let's go. Oh uh, yeah. So I'm playing. Brekia of Dead Rock, uh, we'll just read our things real quick, is a whip specialist. She has mighty strike and 500 XP. Whenever she returns to the settlement, she is compelled to tinker. None of that stuff matters, but what does matter is the whip specialization. When you wound with a whip, instead of moving the top card of the AI deck into the wound stack, you may move the top card of the AI discard pile. Boom! And then mighty strike is on a perfect hit, gain plus two strength until the end of the attack. I also have the Rock Knight. Knighted by the King's Man, the self-proclaimed Rock Knight never leaves her love lord Rock. She is squeamish, suffers from the post-traumatic stress disorder, and is a club specialist with hunt with six hunt XP, King Step and Clutch Fighter. She is an unhinged determination. She has a oh six hunt XP. I did not mock that. Um so so that is that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, ooh. And then club specialization is when attacking with a club on a perfect hit, double your wound attempt total on the first selected hit location. That's pretty nice. That is pretty good. And, I mean, so the, the gear that Brekia has is um, she has the hunter whip on a perfect hit, discard one mood in play. And this is what's really good. Is what's weird is the whip doesn't have reach, which you think it would. Oh yeah, um, long it, range. Yeah, but it does not. Uh, however, the leather boots at the end of your act, I may move one space, and I do have that. So basically, I can get up, and since it's a white line, he grabs all adjacent enemies. You can move back. Uh, I'll be able to move back at the end of my turn to get out of that. And with the Rock Knight, uh, armor spikes. So if I suffer a bo severe body injury, the monster suffers a wound. Uh, he actually has. I think it's a he. It might. It might not be. I know it says. Sh no, it doesn't say. Oh yeah, she is. So she, um, when she has bone darts, so has some range, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, if insane, which she is, she gains plus two uh, speed and plus two strength tokens if insane, and all gear in your gear grid has the bone keyword. Uh, ooh, I did not. I did not do that so okay so plus two speed tokens and plus two strength tokens all right. neat so you can go over your stuff now time to time to show off my ambidextrous not are you actually ambidextrous no, I'm not uh, <laughs> uh my playing is gadrock of dead rock um the ill-tempered and vocal gadrock is proficient in guitars level two he is an orator of death and a hoarder uh, that doesn't really matter he is stalwart and has four hunt experience, and despite his impressive chest scars, he has no injuries. Oh man, that's sexy. Flavor. Um, so, stalwart, uh, 
basically makes it to where he doesn't get knocked down if he's intimidated or uh, suffers brain trauma. There we go. And then I'm also playing as Hungry Basalt of Dead Rock. Basalt, with just one hunt experience, is the most promising youth in Dead Rock. The community trained him well as he was prepared for the challenges of the hunt. However, the weight of their hopes hangs heavy on his broad shoulders, leading him to a binge eating disorder. He just binge eats. It's funny because like depression and anxiety away. <laughs> like the only good thing, really, because this is technically Lantern Year Eight according to these cards here. It's like we uh, I mean we only we have decent gear. Um, by the time. Oh yeah. All we have is dodge, encourage, and dash. Well, these survivors not having any survival actions is almost guaranteeing their death. Like, we only do as well as we do in the main campaign because we have the ability to dash, to encourage, to surge, to, uh, what's the other one? Um, no, I think that Endure would be the other one, but we can't do that. So it's like, with them not being able to surge or anything, yeah, they're going to die. So. Oh, um, I have a full set of Gorm and White Lion armor. I need the, whatever the buffs are for them. Uh, oh, you are correct! Uh, the armor proficiencies, which should be here, that is not it, um, those are weapon proficiencies, right now I can't find it. I, uh, should have said that while we're setting up. Right, oh god, I think that, that's not it. Because I don't, I don't have that off the top of my head. I know the Gorm set does something real crazy. Yeah, you also, uh, since you have that full Gorm set, your character can block for free. Yes. I'm just save that on here. Which is good. Well, I, essentially not for free, but you don't have to spend a, um, like, you don't have to spend a survival. So, yeah, so leather armor uh, for her is ignore bash. You have white lion armor, um, gourmet armor, which is over there, and uh, regal armor. Oh, that might be bone. Oh, wow. This guy's armor set's a lot better than... It's already included, what you have written down. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just erased all that for no reason. Yep, yep, it's still at, it's still at five. Okay. Man, I was like six. That's crazy. That's insane. Yeah, so she just ignores Bash. Okay. You ready? <sighs> yeah. So here's the artwork. Awesome. So there's the... I don't even know. Very vicious. Uh, so... The survivors from Dead Rock had lost their quarry's trail. Starved and worn, they hid from the oppressive dark in a stony nook. Depression and anxiety filled their silence. Time passed. Their prostrate bodies drained of hope. Restless, the mad survivor caressed her rosy rock and whispered. Desperation made sense of nonsense. They would venture deeper into the darkness, deeper than anyone had ever gone, and find their grave. With a grim twinkle in their eyes, they set out. They came upon a mountain of hissing phlegm and slipped through a dried crack. They found a razor-sharp wall of stone fingernails and used their cloaks to soften their ascent. The ground spun beneath them and they vomited as they stumbled onward. Uh, just the thought of being on fingernails is disgusting, because people don't clean their fucking hands. Finally, a blasted field opened before them. Atop a weathered stone slicked with rotted flesh rested a white lion larger than any had seen. Its massive face turned in their direction, nostrils flaring. They felt the air flow past as their monster inhaled their scent. They had found what they sought. So, that is that. We then... I think for perspective's sake, like, the regular white line only takes four spaces, right? Yes. And this takes nine. Yep. So this is like the same size as Gorm. Yeah, pretty much. So here's the, uh, the regular white lion. Compared to him. Wild. Um, and, and yeah, so, so that's a thing. Uh, yeah, it does take four, that takes nine. So that's, yep, it also has Vicious. At the end of each monster turn, the monster extends its giant hooked claws. There's a flow, let's remember that. Target all adjacent survivors, full move the white gigaline away from all other threats. All targets suffer grab. Grab is you place the target knockdown in front of the monster, they suffer monster damage to a random hit location, so two. So there's that. Then it has its Giga Claws! Whenever the monster collides with a survivor, it snags them with its hooked claws, they suffer grab. 
When the survivor suffers ground roll 1d10 on a 9 or higher, they get skewered and suffer bleed 1. Wow. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, it's pretty rough. So, Josh, would you do the honors of drawing the first AI card? Because he's, uh, he, he goes first. Smart Cat. Reveal the top ten AI cards, one card at a time. Put the first two moods revealed into the play, then shuffle the deck. If no mood cards are put into play as a result of Smart Cat, draw an AI card. Archive Smart Cat. Okay, so, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Damn it! Both, both moods. Okay. Um, so we have Bloodthirsty. When this comes into play, draw an AI card. Excellent. When the survivor suffers damage for any reason, uh, place a blood token. Place a token on Bloodthirsty. At the start of each monster turn, if Bloodthirsty has three or more tokens, remove all tokens and perform the basic action. Which is sniff. Uh, no, it's basic action. That's what it does if it, that's its instinct. Oh. Basic action, it's just a regular move and attack. Uh, yeah. Which, yeah, I'll just keep that like that. Then Enraged, when this comes into play, draw an AI card. So it gets two AI cards? Yep. While Enraged is in play, White Lion gains plus one damage token per monster level. So two damage. So two damage tokens. So there's that. Preface this, it starts at level two. There is no level one. No, it, it goes two or three. Uh, I mean, any type of quarry can just kind of go left field and take and take out any any survivor at any given time. But I feel like a level two gear line would not be a problem for our main survivors. But with these pre-built ones, it's going to be difficult. Let's see. When a survivor suffers any dismembered severe injury or is killed, dis discard enraged. So you should have shuffled better. <laughs> What are you talking about? Like, it was almost not, not, uh... Anything. Nine and ten both were... <laughs> I know. I, I thought we were going to get away with it. Okay. Well. So, let's see. Alright, so here's the first AI card from Bloodthirsty. Claw! Pick target closest threat facing in range. So... Yep, that's the Hungry Basalt. Basalt! And its movement, by the way, is, uh... Probably disgusting. It's eight. So, it's going to catch up. Yeah, we're not going to be able to, to run away. Um, so, it is going to move whoop, and attack the Hungry Basalt, which is going to be... Uh, there is a flow, but yes, we don't have Surge, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so, yeah. It is then going to yeah attack you. It has a speed of 3, okay. accuracy 2 or higher, and... Uh, or damage. Okay. Maybe I'll roll all ones. I start the encounter with five survival. Five survival. Okay, well, I hit three times. I'd like to dodge one. <laughs> well, you can roll your, uh... That's right, I can roll them and then pick. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, so yeah. So that's, that's a thing. I don't know. All right, foot, foot, and body. So you minus. I mean, uh, I'll dodge your foot, and then take two to. It's four. Is it four? Yeah, because that's plus three damage. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, so I I would just dodge the well. Yeah. I would dodge the leg one. So I go to one at waist and one at. Put. Okay. And then, uh, when this comes into play... Alright, so that was that. Move and attack target. And then it's next. Why did I shuffle these? I did not mean to keep shuffling. Grasp. Uh, pick target closest knockdown survivor in range. There is none. Then closest survivor. Which is once again, the Hungry Basalt. It's going to move and attack you. Okay. Just one die. Um, hits on a... Two or higher. So one, 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 one. Oh, sorry, it's actually two dice because that's plus one speed. One, 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 one. Well, there's a ten and a six. So yeah. And I can't, uh, can't dodge it. Yeah. Nope. 
So that's going to be four damage to two locations. God. Um, Chest in hand. I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, God. All right, so that was grasp. I need to put these up. So I'm now at one to my, oh, my arms, body, waist, and legs. Yeah, that enraged uh, sucks ass. Okay. Well, so now, after damage, it isolates its prey. Full move the white line away from all threats, and the target suffers grab. Uh, well, away from all threats, and then the target suffers grab. So it would grab me and move that way. Well, it says target suffers grab after, like, it runs away to place target knocked down in front of the monster. But I guess, I guess it would grab you if it isolates you. Um... Oh god. You suffer damage for any reason, so I'll just take these tokens here and just put them on Bloodthirsty. Ugh, I need two. I need to. Great. So there's two tokens there. Ooh, that enrage sucks. Alright. So let's go ahead. So much for getting to guard for free. <laughs> right. Uh, so that's going to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it'll put you knocked down over there. Excellent. Alright. So, that's that. Well, now it's our turn. So, that's pretty good. Um, you know, like, this game already is very punishing, and then it goes and dicks me down like that. It's not very good. Well, let's go ahead and... I need, okay, let's see if I can get Brekia to, to go, because, oh, that, it destroyed that. Uh, because, one, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna have to dash, one, two, three, four, five. Are your people insane? Yes, they are. Okay. Yep, we are all insane. Well, the Gorn, Gorn is good, then. If we get knocked down. Oh. Yeah, gives plus one to all hit locations. Okay, so, dang it, okay, so I needed to dash. I'm going to attack. God. All right. So, let's see if I can get a perfect hit. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and get rid of enraged. There you go. We'll just discard that. We just go here. Yep. Okay. And it will lose its its plus two damage. Okay. So that is going to be two hits. Will you draw the two hit locations? Please don't be a trap. 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 Uh, alright, you have Beast Small and Glorious Main. Glorious Main is impervious. I'll go for that one just because if I get a, uh, if I get a crit, it does something, I think. I got a crit. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... It says, impervious hit location cannot be wounded. A wound or critical wound will not remove an AI or defeat the monster. Critical wound. Gain the shimmering main white lion oh, that's resource. right. It just gives me a reason. If, he, if the attacker is insane, the sheer frustration grants them power. Gain a plus one strength token. Hey! All right. So, I was like, I knew the resource doesn't do anything. So, a wound goes to the wound. No, no, no. I, you can't wound it. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, but I will attack the beast small. Beast small. That is a eight. That is a wound. Okay. Um. There's only a failure. Awesome. So that's perfect. So let's get rid of that enraged. Um. Oh, you are it. correct. Awesome. So there you go. Okay. So he will never be enraged again. And at the end of my turn, I will back up. It's smart. <laughs> Um, who has the most survival? She has five now. They only have the Rock Knight only has three. Uh, my Basalt has four. Okay, I'm just wondering who should attack. Uh, well, he can't. He can't encourage himself. Uh, I can encourage him. Okay. As Gadrock. Okay. Uh, so I'll use that. Okay. Well, real quick, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. I can do, hit him with my Bone Darts. Excellent. Um, which, there's something about that. Are oh, they, at the start, gain plus it? two speed and two strength tokens. Yep, so my bone darts are actually a die of three. So, let's come on, baby. Two hits. 
Where you draw two hit locations. Mm -hmm. Just <laughs> throw in my... First strike. Okay. And not a trap. Awesome. <laughs> not a, all right. Gigantic Pungulus Punch. First strike. The Flabby Punch uh, protects the monster's vitals organ, vital organs, plus five toughness to wound this location. That's right. That is correct. All right. Seven, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... Um, yeah, I think, I think that's all I got. Yeah, so, I missed. Okay, there's a reflex. Okay. Um, the white giga lion leaps into the air, place the monster so the attacker is the purple square, will move the monster forward in a straight line. That's right, yeah. So, so it would be here. Okay. Move it here, and then it would full move back. Full move and back? Yes. Oh, interesting. A full move, no, forward. Oh, is it forward? Yeah, in a straight line. Okay. Um, God, that's... So it's, it's going to collide. It's going to collide, which does something with its collision. Oh, yeah, the Giga Claws. Whenever the monster it snags them, they suffer grab, which basically... Okay. All right. So that's going to grab both of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to be here. Knock down, knock down. And they suffer grab, which is going to be. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, when the survivor suffers grab, we'll roll one on a d10. Great! <laughs> Alright, well, there's a bleeding token on her. I'm rolling really well. <laughs> Fucking A. Two bleeding tokens. So I assume that cancels your other hit location. Yep. Okay. And then... Alright. So... Oh, uh, there's that. Well, you, you two can go. Alright. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think you get your plus one movement. I do. Um, because I have two affinities. No, you don't. Look at the bottom one. You are right. Devin made that same mistake. So for whatever reason, they made that person shitty. But you can still dash. You are correct. And get behind him. If you want. Where was I? I was here. Yeah, so one, two, two, three, four, five. Damn it, I'm just out of range. Oh, do you have reach? Uh, no, uh, pounds. Oh, gotcha. But it's just now, because I would be here. Well, do another five. I mean, that's blind spot. Yep. So, is it guitars two speed? Are they paired? It's paired, but I don't have a second one. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I have gauntlets and then beast knuckles. Okay. It says paired, I just don't have a second one. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Hey, one hit. Perfect hit. Uh, does it do anything? I don't think it does. Sad day. Yeah, it's about to get even sadder. Did I get a trap? You, you certainly did. So, the attacker is caught in the White Lion's ruse in the savagely mauled. The attacker's doom perform basic action targeting the attacker. Okay. Okay, its basic action is going to be... Yep, uh, speed of three. Um, okay. Woo. I'm just rolling amazing tonight, I guess. Uh, I mean, obviously it hits three times. Well, in all honesty, this game only goes well when dice go well. And there's not a whole... I wish there was ways to mitigate the die more so than there actually are and it's like that's not really fair like to to like to to try so hard and to really have it just come down to a die roll and it's like well everyone died we didn't do anything wrong but the dice did so so we died it's like okay what's the point be two damage to three locations well i'm doomed so i can't uh right and it's in the middle of your attack anyway so you can so it's three dice yep Body! Body blow! Body blow! 
So I have to take all of them. Yes, you do. So that reduces my armor to those three places to zero. Yeah. No armor. Excellent. Neat. Uh, so he did his basic action. Does he, he does something else, doesn't he? Does no, he that do? was it. Okay. That was it, because that was, I mean, that was a trap. It ends your turn, but we still have the Hungry Basalt. Come on, baby. Come on. Get a, get a, get a good hit. Get a good hit, daddy. Do it for me. Two. You can do it. Uh, you have to be a six or five. Fun. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Definitely fun. <laughs> All right. Well, that, uh, that sucks. All right. Well, I could say I encouraged you. <laughs> it's not gonna matter. I mean, because I can't attack or do anything to to aid. And you're not a target. Yeah. Currently. Okay. Let's just go ahead and cut that and then put that there. So. The lion's turn. Oh wait, did any? Did we suffer damage for any reason? Okay. Well, I did. It yeah. hit me. That's right. So you got a bleeding token. Yep. And then you remove three of them. Then at the start of monster turn, if bloodthirsty has three, remove all tokens and perform basic action. So post threat in range, facing in field of view in range. Yep. So me, 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 yep, is doomed until the end of the turn or the round. End of the uh, round, so it's a new round. Okay. All right. Boop. Uh, well, two hits. So you are. Yep. So two hits. <sighs> I'm gonna dodge. I'm gonna, after I roll <laughs> where I hit. You see where you're getting hit. Uh. Matter because one of them's gonna be a heavy injury. Like a heavy, so it's gonna knock you down? Yeah. Okay. We'll do heavy two legs. Okay. Then it gets to draw an AI card. Would you do the honors? Size up. Pick target, random threat, in field of view. Uh, if there's no target, then sniff. I am. Is that its blind spot or. No, it's blind spot is right behind it. So it would pick basalt. Yep. Intimidate target. The monster stares down its prey. Turn to face target and roll one d10. One person that can't be intimidated. This guy. Oh, God damn it. Is it? Oh wait. If your courage is higher than star, and it's not. It is. Oh, it is. Star is all the So time. I am not intimidated by it. Uh, on a result of four or more, target suffers one brain damage per monster level, so it does nothing! Okay. That's its turn. Well, it's gonna grab us all. Everything except him. Okay. And one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey! We're back where we were. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Everyone suffers two damage. Okay, to the hand. Oh, one hit location? Yeah. Yeah, that's just the grab. That's a bad time. It's two? Yep. Now I have a heavy injury on my way. Well, luckily you're already down. Um, okay, and then we'll all stand up. Neat. All right. Oh God! Uh, just I gotta say, it, it went it went better um, with Devin. <laughs> with well, it, not so much on his he he was getting fucked. I was doing relatively well. The true strategy to this game is really understanding how the monster fights and how it can fight, and having that ability in this game is helping a lot because I've already fought the Giga Line once and it's like, well, this is what he can do. Here are his moves, his traits and things like that. So it's like, all right, all right, this is what he's going to do. Let's see if we can work around that. Um, so do you want, 
Do you want me to go ahead and go? You can if you want. Okay. The only thing I really want to do is move my guy. Yeah. And I didn't play him, so, I mean, let's go ahead. Okay. Let me try hitting him with the skull cap hammer, because if I hit him, he gets dazed, which he gets a minus one speed token. Okay. Um, until the end of its turn, and it can only be dazed once per round. So let's go ahead and... Boom! So, uh, it gets a minus one. I'm just going to move that out of the way to show that he doesn't have that. Uh, this could be one hit. One hit. One hit location. Don't be a fucking trap. Don't be a trap. Don't be a trap. Uh, straining neck. You strike the monster's throat. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I, I did wound it. Any wound? Or any any failure? Oh, no, that's a, just a crit. Poo! So... It just gets... Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> that ability is fucking stupid. So you can't probably hit it and it's... No, this this mood here, this alert, basically that zone, if you move in that zone... It'll attack. He immediately ends your movement and then attacks you. That's disgusting. It is so stupid. Um, this is uh, it's pretty pretty ridiculous, I'll tell you that much. Like, so so that was that. Um, and I'm going to... One, two, three, four, five. Run away with him. So, so that was his turn. Um, I'll go ahead and go one. Oh no! Put that back in her hand. Need to glue that in there. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's try it, baby. Let's try it. Let's get rid of the bloodthirsty. Yes! That is a crit. That is a perfect hit. I'm going to discard that mood. Because that's what the whip does. And two hits. And two hits. Not... Neither. Awesome. Uh, beast tail or beast chest? Tail uh, in the chest. Chest has a failure, and okay. tail has a reflex. All right. So I, I did the chest, right? Yes. Okay. So what does she have? She has plus one luck. Damn. Okay. Well, I still got a wound. Okay. Well, uh, that's yeah. And on a wound, let's get rid of that fucking bloodthirsty, because I did the mood suck. All right. And uh, its tail. The tail has a reflex. Okay. Alright. Uh, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten. Take my plus one strength, so I still wound it. You do wound it. Uh, reflex. Full move monster forward in a straight line. Cancel all hits now out of range. Any survivors pass through, uh, suffer grab. Two, three, where is it? Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it just grazed past all of us. Okay, yeah, because it says pass over. Okay. It doesn't say adjacent. Neat, 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 neat. So you did wound, no, because it canceled the attacks. No, no, it, oh, no, because I still hit it. If I had any remaining attacks, it would cancel. Oh, okay, I, I see what so, you're saying. So, uh, do the top one. Boop. Combo claw. I just love the theme with the whip and the cat. It's just like, ah. oh, did you pull back? Pull back and... And no, I, I move forward. Oh, pfft. Ah! My elbow! But it's it's really cool because it's like... It's, <laughs> it's just like rearing up and I'm just like... <laughs> cut open its chest. Bad kitty! You look at me, I have a chair. I'm just like, no! That's all I got. Through the ring of fire! <laughs> you will perform for us. You will be our settlement pet. I don't know what to... Now what would be neat is if you could domesticate the monsters. It's like, hey, yeah, no, we just have a herd of screaming antelope. Yep, they're over there grazing. Uh, not with their actual mouths, with their stomach mouths, but they're they're doing it. And then we have a army of, you know, white lions for to help us fight any type of nemesis that come in. Oh, Butcher on his way? Okay, sick the seven white lions on him. That'd be pretty badass. Uh, well, the best thing you got with him is he's like, he, he can just one, two, three, four, five, if you wanted to, um, if you want to just move him up, I'd keep him back there, and hopefully, I mean, this thing's going to run back. <laughs> oh, I see. Leave us to fight. You know, I've always hated you, Gadol, or whatever your name is, Gadik. Gadrock. Gadrock. 
Dad Rock of Dead Rock. Yeah, he's fucking tool. That's the nickname you gave yourself. Hey. <laughs> okay. Let's get all the cheerleaders, bro. <laughs> Alright, so it has minus one speed token. It's its turn. AI card. Okay. Terrifying Roar. Pick target. All non-deaf survivors. So, all of us? Uh, everyone. Uh, intimidate all targets. So, so both my guys don't get intimidated. Wait, your other... Your... Your... your he is, he is stalwart, cannot be knocked down by Intimidate. Oh. Neat. Oh, he can't be knocked down. Is that what all Intimidate does? Uh, Intimidate all targets, roll a d10. If the result is two or more and is higher than the target's courage, target suffers one brain damage per monster level and knockback six. So, you can't be knocked down. I can't be knocked down. Okay, so but I would still, still suffer. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Awesome. Uh, my guys don't take it. <laughs> well, one of your guys cannot be intimidated at all. Uh, Ignore basalt. intimidate action. Yeah, so he, so he's good. It's all right. Well, it didn't matter. I rolled too high, so he suffers uh, two brain damage. Yep. Oh, that's what it is. If you took more brain damage, you wouldn't be knocked down. So it's like I'm stalwart. And knockback six. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And it won't be knocked down. Yep. Yeah, knockback is only knocked. So thank God you can get behind it. Is that it? Yes. For now. Oh, bring it on. You want me to go again? You're closest. Okay. I'll move. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> move. Uh, if it's going to end here, you might want to be there. If you want to be in range, if it runs past. I have reach two. Yeah, but it's going to end there. Right? One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that would be it. Oh, you are correct. Front. Okay. So let's go one, two, three, four. Well, do I really want to get behind it? I could go one, two, three. You guys are not doing shit. They're just like, go team! <laughs> Yay, Rock Nine Brecchia. Which is funny, because uh, whenever Devin and I were playing... I, Hungry Basalt and Brekia was doing all the work. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to try and hit him with my bone darts. So, that is going to be one hit. So, beast back. Ooh, hit him in the back, daddy. There's a failure. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, no failure. Just shoot him in the back with, uh, with, with some bone darts. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, I'm gonna dash. Gotta keep my kitty in check. Gotta keep my bad pussy. <laughs> bad mittens! <laughs> bad! Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get ten perfect hits. Well, there's one hit, so. That's a perfect. So. Oh, I would. I just get to discard a mood and play, but there are no moods. Okay. Okay. All right. Beast's flank. Ooh, it's flank. Um. There is a wound. Well, that's great, but I have plus one luck. That's a crit. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> it cancels the the wound. What was it? It's flank. The. Oh, hey, I'm on its flank. The wound is. Cat hates this. The monster is very upset. Attacker gains priority target token. I didn't want. But that. it cancels it because you got a crit. Oh, oh, the okay. The white lion is knocked down. Hell yeah! And gets. Uh, while it's knocked down, all reactions are canceled, and all hit locations are three or more. Neat. Neat. So let's. Uh, what is what's what's on top? Intimidating work. Let's take the top uh, AI card. This one. Yeah. Bat around. All right. Okay. Well, well that just, sucks. It's knocked down. It's it's turn now. Yeah. So he'll stand right back up. And somebody. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, and I'm gonna move back. Move back. <laughs> move one. back seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna just run away. No, I'll just move back the one. Why can't Why can't we do cool shit like the the hand or Slenderman is just like I'm over here. <laughs> I know. We just teleport. The uh, oh man. There's a gear card that is in the lantern set. It's the beacon shield. We need to get everyone a beacon shield. Is it like ridiculous? It basically has block two. 
Ooh. Yeah. Sexy. Yeah. It's it's pretty neat. AI card. This game has enough of a cult following that there are, of course, forums that kind of help you maximize your survivability in this game. And according to them, beacon shields are a must. Like, if everyone can get beacon shields, then they're going to do well really against any fight. Vicious Claw. Pick target, random survivor, in range. Uh, okay. I think it's... It's one of these two. Yeah. Um, so we will do odds for Brachia, evens for uh, Rock Knight. Okay, well, it's Rock Knight. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Move, hey! a, move an attack target, speed two, accuracy two or more. Ooh, actually, is there a flow before before it moves? Uh, I'm not sure what that can is. I, can I, is it the little line? It's the arrow. Okay, so yes. actually, one, two, three, three four. four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's like that. Mm-hmm. <sighs> if I if I did a do, did a dash one two three four five because it's so one two three four five six seven it would not be able to get yes to her. so I will dash away. Oh, and then you're going in the bush, so, I mean... It, it gives her evasion. Um, That's right. So, it gives her higher evasion, but... Since it picked that target, which was a random survivor in range, it chose that survivor, then I got to run away, so then it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And uh, not attack anyone. So... Finally, I can I can possibly hit him. Basically, as the, the, it it chose me, and I'm just like, <gasps> <gasps> so so that would be that, and there is no one around it, so it's not gonna be doing its vicious claws. All right, all of you go first. Okay, it's gonna be the trap. <laughs> One, two. Because I stacked the deck so my characters get to live. That's all. Well, I only got one hit. Is it a trap? Clever pl No, I'm kidding. The gigantic pendulous punch. Flabby punch protects the monster's vital organs. Plus five toughness, so you need to get a 15. Or a crit! That was a perfect hit, right? Yeah. Uh, I have the greater Gax, so plus four strength. On a perfect hit? Yes. There you go. And I already have plus one strength, so now I have... Well, it, that's temporary on the attack with the greater Gax. You are... Okay. Then I have plus five. So, yep. I have so roll very, very well. Five, I ten. think that's 16? Yes. Nice! 16. Nice! So you do wound. It's not a critical wound. Um, but, hell, let's take that. It's still going to do a reflex. Um, basically, it like put up its paw to protect its vital organs, and you just quite undercut it, holding one. You're doing what, two hands, and then you're like, Oh, I don't need two hands, and then you swing a little bit quicker and hit it right in its belly button. It's pussy. <laughs> right in its pussy. So it's going to whoop, <laughs> go there, and, uh, oh, well, let's wound it first, do its AI. Top, top AI cod. Revenge. Great, 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 great. I guess technically, according to Devon, we're supposed to be putting the wound stack face down, um... Which I guess thematically makes sense because we don't know what's causing it, like what it's like not doing. Oh, to give it replay value. That and I think thematically it's like, well, we know it's getting weaker. We just don't know. Oh, okay. It, it we know for a fact you can't do this. You can't do this anymore. Yeah, so we can be a little bit more reckless, I guess. For the record, we have started playing that way, and at first I was against it because I was like, this game is against you in so many ways. But now I like it. It's it helps like immerse you more into the theme instead of metagaming on like okay that's gone so now we don't have to worry about that type of attack you know so I like it. Uh, then it's gonna full move the monster straight in the line and um, which will cause collide with you. Now is this done before my attack ends? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> because so before your turn ends because it's a reflex so it kind of it's like an interrupt. Okay. Um, it was it was funny because we were when we were playing basically like the like at the end of a turn I think it was like I can't remember how it was like what the exact order was but I know it had to do with alert 
and then the basic action, and then something at the end of its turn. And it basically reminded me of the stack rule in uh, Magic, which infuriated me because it's one of the things I hate about the stack rule, because it was like the end of his turn happened, like the monster's turn, and then a bunch of things happened. Yeah. But the bunch of things happened before the end of the turn, and I was like, but that doesn't make sense because the end of his turn triggered. But it's like, uh, and then I had to basically be like, it's the stack rule, so it made it a little bit better because I understand how it works. So anyway, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you bitch. Okay. Uh, so you collide, uh, you get, you suffer grab, so um, you will suffer two damage to random hit location. Just one die. Uh, I'm and you dodge can't it. dodge because it's in the middle of your attack. Fuck. So, so to the chest. I got yeah. a light wound. That's not terrible. Um, but roll a d10 for the Giga Claw. Take a bleed token. That's not as bad as it could be. Right. One rips your pieces. Which thank God, like this doesn't, because in the and I know why they did it during Gen Con, I got to play against the Black Knight. Uh, which fucked the party, but it only fucked the party because they started with like three bleed tokens just to shorten the demo, mm. of course. But and they had like shit gear and no survival actions, so it was way more aggressive. And you saw like the demoers like stack the the mm -hmm. deck, and I'm like, you pieces of shit. Okay, well that was that. Now it feels so brutal. Right? Why is this game impossible? Oh, it's because we don't have survival actions. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five. I must stay there. And then, um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, hey, from the bushes, I'm gonna try and hit him with some bow and darts! And that's gonna be three, three hits. No trap, no trap, no trap, no trap, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, stop! No, no. There's a failure, a wound. And heal. Oh, what am I, what am I, what are the... You have the Beast Heal, the Beast Tricep, and the Beast Sprout. Let's do the Beast Sprout, Daddy! Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, uh, wound. Snarling the monster swats at its attacker. Attacker suffers one brain damage. Perform basic action. Target the attacker. Oh, well. Yeah, it's annoying. Okay, I suffer one brain damage? Mm-hmm. I don't wanna! I am at... Yep. Performs basic action after that. Yep, so targeting you. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no! Alright, so while I'm in there, I have plus two evasion. So its basic action is gonna be. three dice. Will you roll three dice? And it has to hit on a four or higher. Watch, this is a one time I actually roll really well. Yes, yeah, we all tens. Alright, two hits. I'll take it. Um, it's a reaction, right? It, oh, it was a wound. It was a wound. Okay, so... So, perform the basic action. Well, I'll dodge one body, I guess. Um, and it's gonna be... Hey, luckily, my body can handle it. Okay. I love the fact that these are sleeved. No. Yeah, it just feels bad. And I'm actually gonna... So, when I, when I bought these, so what you're, uh... Like, what, what are those in? Those are premium sleeves, so they're thicker. Ah, okay. And if you feel if you feel the difference between, like, this sleeve and... I think these are... Are these the same? They are not. So, if you feel the difference between that one and that one... Oh, yeah, this is way flimsier. Yeah, so... And I didn't know that when I bought them. So, I'm just gonna buy, um... Why was I still holding this punch? That goes back. Okay, well, I didn't get knocked down, so I get to continue yep. my, my attack. So basically runs back. I'm going to throw another dart at it. Beast, and beast heal or beast tricep? Let's do its tricep. It has a failure. Damn it. Three, four, five. Ooh, six, seven, eight. That's a failure. Uh, perform basic action targeting attacker. Okay, well, three more dice. And if it's on the four or higher. Okay, oh, two more. And I cannot dodge, so body and hip. Okay, well, I am still not knocked down. I have no more body. <laughs> and then 
Alright, so Beast Heal. Get the heal. That is <clears throat> not a crit, but it's it is a wound. You clip the tensed muscles of the heel! Hell yeah! Awesome. Okay. And it's, it needs six more wounds. Uh, yep. Okay. Well, that was all for my people, because I moved her up, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, your person can still go. Ooh, hey, happened to run right past you and show you its butthole. Uh, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna pounce. Oh, nice. So, wait, 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 your pounce. Doesn't it take your movement and your action? Yeah, but I can dash. You are correct. You can very much do that. And I pounce, so I add plus one strength, and then I add one accuracy. And then if I wound with this, it gets minus one toughness. Ooh, permanently? Uh, until the end of the attack. Gotcha. All right, so it's... Okay. So I need two. You say you get, it gets plus one speed? I get plus one strength, strength and plus one accuracy. Gotcha. Oh, and you're actually in its blind spot. So I have to roll on a six or higher. Yep. Or no. Five or higher. Four or higher. Four or higher. Oh, you got one hit. One hit. The beast ear! Okay. Uh, crit it. Crit it. Crit it. Crit run it. Crit it. Just crit it. Ooh. Oh, God, yes. Well, that is a wound. I don't think, because you don't have luck, right? Oh, wait. Which one of your things has deadly? The, the, the greater seven. dax, right? Yeah. Okay. That's. Well, luckily, the beast here was a failure, so. Boom. Hey, I did something. Yay! Oh, I got a little one more. I'm a now a specialist. That doesn't happen till after the I know <laughs> thing. Let me relish this Let moment. Let me pretend. I did something good for once. Right. All right. Well, it is its turn. So go ahead and draw that AI card. Size up. Pick target. Random threat. In field of view. Intimidate target. Uh, one of these two. Because I am not hiding. Um. I did not activate that, so I'm just basically, I'm not standing in the tall grass, I'm just like, oh, it can still see me. So, odds evens. Okay. Intimidate. Alright, what does that do? Yep. Um, roll a d10. Result of four or higher. Okay, well, there's a seven. Well, you roll, you get two brain damage and are knocked down. Knocked down? Or yeah. knocked back? I thought it was knocked back. No, that's a different uh, card. Dang it. Okay, two brain damage. Yep. That's not the worst. It's brain damage... One brain damage per monster level. So okay. Two. All right. You're there. Get back in the grass. Oh god. Okay. Well, it's the end of its turn. It yes. is going to grab both of us. And did I say I was gonna? Do did I say I was gonna pounce? I meant I was gonna stay one space back. Um. So we will target all adjacent survivors. Full move the away from all other threats. Be this way. Yeah, it would. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, yeah. So you'd have to. They're over there. And we suffer two, two damage to the body. Uh, that's the hip to the f and then the foot. Okay. Uh, I have a severe leg injury. Neat. Yeah, she's knocked down. The rock knight is, and Brecky. Oh, Brecky does not. Oh, I did. I did forget to add. Stuff. I have plus one speed and plus two strength to my guitars when I did that. I don't think I'm... I would have rolled a third dice. Oh, we'll go ahead and roll a third dice. Okay, you best. Oh. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> well, you did it! Uh, oh, you're, you're a severe injury? Yeah. I roll a d10. If I roll a one or a two, I die. Uh, yeah, essentially. So, I mean, you can just go ahead and roll that die and just see what happens. Roll a nine. nine. Okay, I think that just gives you like a bleeding token. It was a leg injury, right? Yes. Okay. They suffer dismember. I remember that's a thing with this guy. Right. Um. 
Oh, hey, severe injury. Oh, no, that's something else. That's cat's weird ass fucking. Oh, here we go. Leg? Yes. Leg. Gain two bleeding tokens. Bloody thighs! I got you. I got you, buddy. Oh, well, he doesn't have any, so perfect. Awesome. Alright, so there is that. Boop. Um, and. Okay. So, start of our turn, he'll stand up, they will stay down. Uh, I don't think I can get there. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, boo. But I will try. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then I will encourage my rock knight to stand up. Get up! Get up, you! Okay. Um, you know what? You know what? I'm sick of this thing. I'm gonna fucking hit it in the head with a hammer. Boom! Alright, well, that's one hit. Now the perfect hit. Fleshy gut. There's a failure. Okay, uh, I got it. Six, seven, eight, nine. Alright. Alright. Terrifying roar. Ooh. Hit it in the jaw. Actually, hit it in the gut, so it's just like, oh. Okay, uh. One, two, three, oh, three, I'm a fucking move. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's go one, two, three, four. Let's get back in the grass. Alright. Oh, you're dashing, A. Eh? Yeah. Come on, get it. So I'm at three. Get it. Oh, God. Come on. Gax it. Gax, Gax it right in its Gax gayness. it, daddy! I gotta go. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm. Roll, roll these. Like, so that's a. That's not a perfect. Yeah, hit. it is. This is a perfect hit because it's deadly. That is a crit. Yes. Oh, it is a perfect hit. Yeah. So I gain plus four strength. Nice. The beast maw. Come on, come on, Gax it again. Four. I think you got it. Yeah, I got okay. it. Okay. Uh, so I mean, it you hit it in its maw, and it, it was a failure. So you are good. You can also encourage your other person. I'm gonna encourage and guard for free. Hell yeah! Two, three. And then encourage this guy. He's fucking crazy. I'll just let him go for it. <laughs> so, three dice plus two. It was. That was it, right? Yeah, you just get the three dice because of the speed, because of the white lion armor. Awesome. So, hey, you should, you can, one, well. two, see, one, two, three, four. I'm trying to think. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and then you want to... I want to pound. Gotcha. So, I don't get the extra strength, but I do get the accuracy, so... All right. Well, that's three hits. <sighs> I'll be real depressed. No! Good! Alright, you got the strange hand, the soft belly, and the beast knee. My knee! Uh, we'll do the belly. Yeah, get it. A de debilitating blow to the soft belly. Uh... Belly, 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 belly. One, two, three, four, five. Did you get a nine? And then, if I wound with this weapon, uh... You need a 10. Minus one toughness. But you need a 10 to wound it. It's toughness as well. Oh, fuck. Well, there is no failure, so... Good. Good. That is that. Okay, you want to go for the beast knee or the strange hand? The strange hand. Okay. Perfect. It's a critical... It's a crit? Oh! Oh, you hack off the monster's hand! Spend one survival to treasure this moment and gain plus one permanent strength. Sure. <laughs> no more survival. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, it's a persistent injury now. Uh, lost hand. Boop. So. Got it. We got two more hits to kill it. The beast knee. And now it has minus one toughness. You know, from the dicking I got at the beginning, this is uh, going relatively well. Till the end of the round, right? Till the end of my attack. Okay. So, that, yeah, I hit him again. Nice. You hit the white line, sturdy kneecap. 
Um, well, not, it was not a critical wound, so... Awesome. So he's one away. He is literally one, one away. So it is going to be his turn. Basically, all he's going to do is the basic, basic action. He's going to grab my guy. Well, he's going to attack you first. Don't hurt me, Daddy. Now well, that's three hits. Hmm. Okay. And I just used my last survival and give myself strength. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! The strength isn't going to help me. Um, so, here, I'll just roll a three. So, three locations at two damage each. Waste, waste, and foot. Well, that's two severe injuries. <laughs> oh, like on the table? Yeah. All right. One for waste and one for life. Alright, I, I probably should have just kept this open. Um, yeah, that's the brain trauma. So, this will be the, the waste. Okay, give me a sec to find You're it. fine. All right, waste eight. Mm -hmm. Slashed back, making sudden movements is excruciatingly painful. You cannot surge. Okay, doesn't matter. Gain a bleeding token. I. Right. That's not too bad. All right, and then the foot. Nine. Nine. Uh, gain two bleeding tokens. Did you die? I did. <laughs> you I just, just bled out on the fucking. I hit. I hit. Five. <laughs> My strength. So Gadrock's dead. So it feels real bad just because, like, we only have four people for the encounter. We can't just, like, get a new guy. He's better. He's bored. I miss Cat Rock. Dang, I was hoping we'd go in. No kill. There's your five bleeding tokens for dying. Basically, you're just like, yeah! And then it just, like, claws your, like, legs off. And you're just like, ah! That's Man, it's gonna suck if whoever attacks next draws the trap. Draws the trap. All right. Well, there's no one around it since he died. So it sniffs, right? No, no, no. It, it would have done its uh, vicious, but it only does if there's adjacent people. Mmm, okay. Okay. Go for it, lion tamer lady. Right, right. All right, uh, that's one hit. You got one hit. All right. Draw that hit location. This is a trap. It is not. Hell. Fuzzy groin. Oh, man. Let's crit this. Let's crit it. That was interference on that die. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You wounded. Yeah. It's dead. <laughs> just split open its sack, its testicles dangle, and then it's just like, ooh. Did I say pounce? I didn't pounce. I didn't <laughs> You're, You're over there. That's right. I forgot. You said you ran off. Well, um, we killed it. All right. It we explodes. Bone shrapnel kills everyone. Kills everyone. <laughs> Wrong out, but elated, the survivors drag their spoils and weary bodies homeward. At their backs, an anguished roar penetrates the darkness. Despite their fatigue, they quicken their pace. Um, let's see. Um, is this the quarry? Um, no, is that? Oh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to. Um, oh, and then it has a. There's like a, a milestone. Yep. Sam okay, Samatotropin Surge, the milestone condition. The survivors from Dead Rock defeat the White Gigaline in the Vignette. A permanent effect. Enraged, the, and these are milestones that are now included. They come <clears throat> with um, the Echoes of Death, which are four other survivors and some more cards in these. Uh, so these are, you know how we had milestones to meet, like, oh, first death and all mm -hmm. that. So that's going to add Gotcha. Which I like, because I really like the milestone thing. I like the story elements. Right. They add a lot. Um, and I really like, I hope he adds more uh, principles. Because yes. that kind of helped you grow and made you more, it made it more RPG feeling as well. So, enraged, the White Gigaline's pregnant mate overtakes the exhausted survivors, devouring them. Its gust twists audibly as the peculiar minerals of the lovelorn rock... Uh, combined with the primitive concoction that is the survivor's frenzy drink, which you had. Yep. The volatile mixture wreaks havoc on the recessive genes of its unborn young, ensuring the Gigaline aberration continues. Campaigns with the White Lion Quarry may now also hunt the White Gigaline Quarry. Neat. I like that. I think it's really cool, too. So, uh... So, it didn't matter, because they were going to die anyway. Yeah, like, they were all pre-made, so, I mean, I, I don't know why they a included the the extra, like, oh, they have stalwart and this condition, because you can't really... I mean, you, well, you might be able to play with them. Oh, hey, there's more artwork. Nice. In the back. I really like the artwork. Yeah, the artwork. 
the artwork is always fantastic. So there's that. And this guy is disgusting. So it's pregnant mate. Yeah, so we can, uh, for people who are interested, I can show them my it's got some now. Big old balls! Hell yeah, it does. Alright, let's see if I can find it. There it is. The Giga Katarium. So it has a location extension, so basically this just extends to the Katarium. The bottom of it. So it has a hooked claw knife, a lion slayer cape, dense bone arrows, and oxidized beast guitar. Which is very interesting. Uh, I'm just curious to see what all the all the stuff does. Oxidized guitars. That sounds pretty neat. Deadly. And then dense bone darts so they don't break. Oh, you're, you well dense. Was it bone darts? Bone arrows. Bone Sorry. arrows. Uh, I might have said darts. Like an idiot. I'm so stupid. <clears throat> so I could hit beat myself. Have a meltdown. I still and I still upload the video like for some reason. So yeah, hooked without cape. editing it out, right? So Lion Slayer Cape is an accessory. On arrival, all survivors gain plus one survival. If you are wearing fur armor, reduce all damage suffered by one to a minimum of one. So that would be good for Cat's character or whoever's wearing fur. Usually, she's the one wearing fur armor. Yep, yep. Oxidized Beast Guitar. There are two of them. Has deadly. Paired and sharp, uh, rolls two dice for speed, seven or higher, adds five strength. On a perfect hit, the edge sharpens, gain a, a plus four strength for this attack. So essentially, she'd be rolling four dice because uh, it's paired, hitting on sevens or higher. Uh, they look really cool, like they're a lot, a lot darker. And these are guitars. Yep, yep, and which she's a uh, special and well, I mean, also character dies. Oh wait, no, that's that's uh. Bathsheba. No, that's both of them, because she has a new character. That's right. We, we haven't given Melee, guitar, metal, and bone. Yeah. So there's that. And then the the dense bone arrow um, has sharp. You depart with enough arrows to last. There is no activation limit, which is awesome, because a lot of the arrows you can only use once per showdown. Mm. So you can use dense bone arrows. Roll two dice on a five or higher. Hit on a five or higher, and you add six. So... That's pretty cool. I know we just made my lance thing. I kind of want to try out bow. It'd be fucking sweet. Like I think it would just. I think it would help a lot. Um, Cause we need we need range. Something that like I don't have to be right next to the monster. Yeah. Give um, me give me magic, bro. Oh yeah. There is no magic in. Give this. me some magic. Let me be a mage. That's true. Actually, I didn't even consider that. Yeah. There's. I mean, there's magical items. That you get, and like kind of the concoctions that you can make, but there, there is. Nobody can be played Dark Souls with no easy mode. This ain't fair. Is Magic easy mode? Oh yeah. Oh, I thought I always thought it was harder. No. Huh? Everything gets fucked up real fast by Magic. Gotcha. And then it has a Lovelorn Rock, which is a rare gear, so that must. Um, what does it do? Nothing. It just says you will never be apart. It might be like something in the maybe in in this if you. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I really don't know what it does. So, I mean, because it has its showdown. But, does yeah. it have its own separate book? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we use that. If we, we use this it. for its showdown. Right. Yeah, and it, I mean, it doesn't really say anything about, like, the Lovelorn Rock. But, what's good is that... When we beat it, we get its, like, like so we don't have to search through, like, the strange resource deck and hope we get a hooked claw or anything. It, it specifically gives us something, um, which nice. we need to be able to build stuff for that. More so streamlined loot. No RNG. Yeah, where it's like, great. Um, Hoping for them drops. Which I found out the, the Phoenix was like that. Is, like, a lot of the stuff you need to make its armor, you, every, every creature's resource deck has, like, a couple specific items that you hope you you draw um, and the Phoenix armor is kind of you just hope you get lucky enough to get its stuff but but yeah so that is uh, that's the white giga lion everyone three 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 survived um, that's better than the other one where you had two die if like both Devin's characters uh, the rock knight and the the hungry 
No, Gadrock. Uh, Gadrock died. Um, Hungry Basalt and Brekia both lived. Um, which, I mean, bone darts, bone darts are good whenever you have the bone earrings to give you plus two speed and two strength. So, and he was always insane. Or she, sorry. But yeah, so that's, that's a good one. Did you like it? Uh, I did like it. As a pre-constructed thing, this it's probably either way harder or way easier, depending on... Uh, if you were to open up your campaign with him instead... Oh, it'd be definitely. Well, you'd play with these guys, actually. You wouldn't play with your opening characters. Yeah, they would get demolished in, like, a level it two could, right off the bat. No, that, that wouldn't work. Say, so you, could, you could fight this as your second. No, because... Well, it says as soon as you can hunt the white lion. So you could hunt this here, too. You could. You would die immediately. Oh, yeah. Uh, but you could... And I, I think the milestones are a really, really cool addition. And I know from a lot of people who were commenting on my second discussion, they were like, Adam is actively working on things to give you a more RPG feel. Um, so Good. things will progress. And I think more settlement innovation. Not so much the innovation deck, but... Do I we want to do a discussion? That's what we're kind of doing here. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I didn't want to do a separate discussion video. Okay, but, I got you. Um, if I were to, yeah, so like the milestones are really neat. I really like the strains, which I actually don't have. They are with the Echoes of Death, which mm -hmm. are the Shield Orang and things like that. Yeah, when you were telling me about the, like, the essentially the bloodline esque mm -hmm. thing was real neat. Yeah. Um, leaving a mark, like having your really well rounded characters leave marks on the world. Right. Kinda, Add a lot kind of, of death. So, like, when they die, it's not so, like, ugh, like, god damn it. Because, like, Bath yeah, Bathsheba or, uh, Mikhail. It's not Mikhail, it's, uh, Malik. Malik, uh, Malachi. If they were to die right now and we needed them, uh, we fucked. Yeah, it'd be awful, but at least with the strains, we could use them, and then if they die, it's like, okay, well, they had all this. That opens up a strain of bloodline to be able to pass down that everyone gets this. So hey, they both had the prey disorder. Now they made a baby. Now it's like it's jacked with a shield, and they can, <clears throat> they can throw it. Fucking, and, it's Cap. Yeah, exactly. It's Cap. It's Cap in America. So things like that are what this game I think definitely needs. It, it, because the game you it's essentially a worker or it's not worker placement. It's a resource. It's a resource management game, um, and your characters are your resources so i think at least giving them some they don't have to be like a D, &D character no you like you don't have to be that they, attached they go forever but obviously anyone's gonna be attached if their character survives and you start making backstory with the players and then they die and it's like you have nothing to show for it like like we were talking in like especially in like a D, &D type setting like, if your character, if you get attached to your character and they, like, die by something that's complete bullshit, in mm -hmm. your opinion, um, it makes you not want to play. Right. So, like, if we were going to fight, like, I would understand if your characters died at, like, a nemesis fight, but fighting just a quarry, they went out on a hunt and died, it feels... Yeah, or, like, a hunt event where it's, like, roll one, okay, great, they died. Uh, but, like, for instance, if, like, we fight the Manhunter and Malagai dies fighting him... Like, it sucks. It sucks, but it's not as bad. I mean, it's, yeah, it blows ass, but it's like, at least it was a nemesis that they're hard anyway. Mm -hmm. Or, like, what I want, what I want but don't want is I want the gold smoke knight to show up and I bring, we bring those, like, all four of the us. The legendary. Have, I would love for all four of us to have badass characters. Like, hell, we should probably shelf, like, old Joe and keep, hey, he's a Twilight Sword. Um, and we build up these characters in the gold, and we're just like, we are here. It's like, and then they all die in one hit. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, real quick, I did not read the introduction, which is what uh, the icon for this is pretty cool. It's a Giga Lion fighting a. Oh, that's neat. Regular, regular lion. It's a panther, or panther, whatever. It's black. So vignettes of death are brief ordeals set in Kingdom Death Monster. This vignette is designed for a single play session and uses components from your core game. After the tale is told, its memory can change current and future campaigns. So that's another thing that he's working on is things that will things that happen in one campaign can change a, a totally separate campaign. Gotcha. Which is really neat because that makes it feel like it's an overarching world instead of just, hey, here's what I'm in, this is linear. So I think that's really cool. I hope he expands on that a little bit more. 
get to where it's like an infinite crisis multiverse thing. Yeah, hell, I would want more story stuff, like, because we get snippets of things like that, uh, but, like, backstories on the nemesis and, and things that we get, like, an insight into this world, like, because the world is awesome. Super, I just want to know more. Yeah, I super dark, yeah, um, gritty, like, like, unique, grim, disgusting fantasy, and... If you can, like, be like, oh, like, because we, we have theories, I guess, so far of, like, oh, well, the nemesis is kind of, not the, the hand is kind of this god. Or, he, like, he an avatar of god. Yeah, and it's, things like that are, are what I want snippets of. Um, Vignettes are ideal diversions from campaigns of monster. They are short and great for playing without unpacking your beloved settlements. This vignette tells the story of four survivors from Dead Rock stumbling upon the White Gigaline, a massive aberrant of the White Lion species. Using vignette survivor cards pre-constructed, vignette survivor gear overlays, White Lion cards, and new White Gigaline cards, you will live the story of these survival's final moments. And things like that. More of vignettes? Awesome. I think that's really cool. It's like, oh, there was a settlement before us. Yeah. Like, we weren't the first. So things like that I think are really cool. If The one complaint I have about this vignette... Um, and some people might like it, others might not. And I think I'd like it a little bit more if we had fought him earlier. But we fought the White Lion so much. I wish he had more uniqueness to him. Yeah. Because he pulled White Lion gear cards. He has, like, one uh, hit location card, which was, like, that paw um, that showed up. The the gigantic pendulous paunch is, is what... What we threw in, and a few AI, maybe like one AI card. So I wish he kind of had his own set, uh, which would be, I mean, that would make him definitely feel unique. But I guess if he's a subspecies of the White Lion, then he would kind of fight like the White Lion. He's just uh, a lot bigger and has way more Giga Giga Claws. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, these these traits here. Giga Claws and grass or vicious, vicious which in because the in in the regular White Lion. Um, he just picks one adjacent survivor and runs off with him. The vicious takes all adjacent survivors, and it's like, boom! Ah! <gasps> Why? Save us! So that's kind of my one complaint with it. Um, I don't know if you have any any complaints. No, you kind of hit the hit the nail on the head. Uh, say it was really well thought out, put together. Um, I guess my only complaint is, is how they organize these. Yeah. Like, why give me gear that has affinities, and then I don't get the... Yeah, you didn't link them. It's, yeah, that is one of those things that you, you really have to structure and kind of prioritize with your gear set. Uh, I, I would almost argue that there, there, out of these four, there are two that are obviously the best. Uh, Breccia, for sure, because she has... Uh, high armor and, and probably yeah. basalt. Yeah, I mean, um, definitely best defensive character. Yeah, she's got high armor also, but like the ability to like if you get rid of a mood, yeah, get rid of a can, mood, or then you could discard it. Act, yeah, get rid of a mood. Actively choose which, like, hey, top of the AI, giving you a lot of selection. Yep, and she has high evasion. Mm -hmm. like, she gets plus two evasion, so she's definitely the the fast one. Um, I will say though the the miniatures are fucking sweet. I love I love her pigtails. Like check out her pigtails. Like they're just like oh, super thick and they have lanterns. That's fucking yeah. In oh. it, yeah. I need to I need to glue that in there. But I also like how how like the whip is curving into her hand. Yeah, I like that too. Uh, really, I actually just I like the two best characters. Like the basalt. I love how he's how, how he's, he looks. How he's wielding that gax with with one hand. Um. But I do very much like that at least if you beat him, you can quickly, you can just quickly add him into your campaign. And he has his own Katarium, so you can get some neat, neat stuff. It's not this whole settlement, it's just, hey, he's special, you can get some of this stuff. And, and just add it to your gear set. So, it's a lot of fun. I, I've enjoyed it, because he's still difficult. I mean... I am all for adding, like, standalone stories that add complexity. Mm -hmm. um, especially if there's depth. Like, this was real short compared to how we usually, how long we play, mm -hmm. I think, anyway. Yeah, it was, it's relatively short. Yeah. Um, Another thing I kind of really like is the simplicity of, so it, it's technically an expansion, um, but you can quickly add him to a campaign, and it's like, hey, instead of fighting a white lion, you go after a gigaline. It doesn't change anything, 
It's so it's not adding another expansion to bog it down yeah, kind of where we're at. We can add this to the one that we're playing, or I've added every expansion, and I hate myself for it. Um, and we found it, out you're only supposed to add three. Like, at least three. And we could add him, and it wouldn't change anything. Okay, hey, instead of, you know, the white lion, we fight him. We'll fight the giggle lion. So I, I do like that. I Old like that. Giggles. That's what we call him. Giggles the bitch. Old Giggle Scratch is what so, we call him. And he still is a challenge. He's a level two. Um, I don't know if he'd be a challenge with our characters. Just the surge, the fact that we have surge. And I think that. if we had added this, like, long before, we probably would have been fighting him more than we fought the white the line. The white line, yeah. Because he probably gives you more. He he gives you some, yeah, some definitely some good gear and then the, the special ones for his Katarium. Um, at a level three, though, he gets, like, Vicious, Giga Claws, Indomitable, Merciless, Golden Eyes, which gives him luck. And he has a movement of 10 and a toughness of 16, plus 2 speed and plus 2 damage. And he's got like 11 basic, 8 advanced, and then a legendary ability. Yeah, so he's 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 a nasty fucker. Um, so yeah, it's... Uh, oh god, his sniff is actually different too. He sniffs, gains luck and accuracy... And his gigantic pendulous paunch gets placed on top. So it was five away. Oh, thank God. So uh, it was relatively at the bottom. Right. Um. So yeah, it's. I mean, I I have really don't have any complaints except just more uniqueness from him. But everything else I think is great for story driven purposes. Um, like always, the the pre made minis and him, uh, excellent quality. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, at some point we'll have to get paint on them, because Kat is slowly painting them. Yeah, she's got the White Lion and the Manhunter. The man -hunter. Which, they both look fantastic. Yeah, she's doing a, a really good job with that. It's kind of like, she paints them on a, kind of our lantern year basis, so I had to paint the Manhunter, and next will be the Butcher, mm. uh, before we do our next fight, so... Oh, God. She was going to do Gorm next, but we decided to not fight Gorm. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the the white giga lion. Uh, very much like if you had to rate it, scale of one to ten. Uh, this by itself, give it a nine. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, it, just the big net of death. It it's simple, quick, fun, uh, and adds actually quite a bit of story. This also can like, whenever you get like the itch to play this, I don't know why you are. Cause it's <laughs> punishing, but. right? But, uh, like, if you get the, I want to play Kingdom Death, but it takes forever to do everything, this is, like, a good alternate way to play it. Yeah, and what Devin was saying was, it's a good, like, you do the white line to introduce people to the game, of course, but if you want to show people what a mid-tier fight is, uh, yeah, you true. quickly bring this out. You're like, hey, this is what a mid-tier fight is. You have relatively good gear, decent survivors, um, and, a, and a decently challenging fight, and it's like, hey, this is what it'll be like, Lantern 10. Yeah. Probably around that time you're fighting level 2. 8 or 9. Two. Yeah. Because uh, we're in 14, 15. And so. it's fucking wild. Yeah, it's insane. It And we're halfway there, and we're just getting ready to be able to fight a level 3. But we're not doing... We're only fighting level 3, either antelope or lion. Yeah, we're not doing... Let's like, do the Giga Lion. Let's level. do level 3 Giga Lion, level 3 Gorm. <laughs> level 2 Phoenix. We could probably fight level 3 Gorm. Li lion God... <laughs> yeah, let's just break it. God, Spidecules. Never fought him before at level 3. Uh, so yeah, um, 9 out of 10. A lot of fun. Very mm -hmm. much like it. So that's the White Giga Line, everyone. The Vignette of Death. I hope you're enjoying. Uh, go check out the series if you haven't. Um, watch me slowly and progressively get like more and more mad. Um, <laughs> like... Uh, it, it, it's, uh, it, it's a fun time. It's, it's a fun time. I think as long as you don't play as Malachi, it'll be, uh... No, I think I could go back and play as Malachi. I had to change my mindset on what the game actually was, because I was, what I was expecting and wanting from it, it's not that kind of game. It's not an RPG per se. Per se. So, uh, because, I mean, I'm slowly starting to get it back attached to, uh, whoever the fuck I'm playing right now. Um... I don't remember his name. Matthew? Ma is it Matthew? I don't remember. Matthew but Genesis? Basically, it's, uh, I, 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 now I'm just wanting to get gear. I just want us to have a shit ton of stuff to be able to be like, oh, let's make some, oh, let's try this out with this character. That's kind of how, how I was taking it, because I'm, like we said, way before, 
And in your second discussion, you brought it up, like, me and Devin have had multiple characters die at this point. Yeah, yeah. Old Joe is probably Devin's close. He's he's finally an advanced character. Yeah. And if Old Joe died to some bullshit, he'd be mad. Like, you were upset when Rachel died. I, I just breached Master. Yeah, so it's things like that that I didn't want to happen. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be so mad if it does. Um, but that's, go check out my second discussion. Check out our first discussion because you'll be able to hear Cat's. Uh, Josh's and Devin's thoughts, and mine at the time, and then about ten lantern years later, uh, I did another discussion. So say, I definitely think we should do another discussion at the. We'll end. do it at the very end. Yeah, I will not be doing another one, but we'll do a whole campaign discussion afterwards. Uh, but like I said, big man of death, a lot of fun. Definitely want more. I'm sure there's going to be more coming out. I think they're probably just going to keep doing a a live kind of thing. Which I is hope. exciting. It is exciting. So I, I can't imagine that they would shell out this much money into a game or have this game cost as much as it does and then only do four waves. If, if no. They might do four waves and then go back on Kickstarter. I, I could stuff. see it being like four, maybe five waves of content and then like they're, they go back on Kickstarter. They're like, if you guys fund this much and they do like, this is what, 1.5? 1. 1. 5. 1. 5. They do it. 2.0, yeah, and like it includes everything from waves five back. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, and then and then all the extra stuff because I'm sure they'll just keep going. Um, Excellent man. board game. It really is. Like what my what my rating was at the end of my second discussion, um, still holds true for now. Uh, we'll see how how the rest of the the series goes, but. You'll have to check, wait for that at the end of the series. Um, but that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Let us know what you think of the Vignette of Death or KDM in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching this. And if you like this video, then click the subscribe button below to enjoy any video that I put out. And right next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that so you get notified of whenever I actually upload these videos. If you want to support the channel, you can definitely visit my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.